Imagine calculating the trajectory for a spacecraft traveling hundreds of thousands of miles into space, armed with nothing but your brain, a pencil, and a slide rule. That was the world of Katherine Johnson, a mathematical genius whose groundbreaking work at NASA made human space exploration possible. Despite facing immense challenges as an African-American woman in the segregated workforce of the 1960s, Katherine Johnson broke barriers and helped send humanity to the stars. Today, we're diving into her extraordinary life, her trailblazing achievements, and the enduring impact of her legacy. Born in 1918 in White Sulphur Springs, West Virginia, Katherine Coleman, her maiden name, showed an extraordinary aptitude for math from a young age. By the time she was 10, she was already attending high school, a remarkable feat especially for an African-American girl in the segregated South. Recognizing her potential, her parents made the life-changing decision to move their family so Catherine could pursue further education. She later earned degrees in mathematics and French at West Virginia State College, where her professors, recognizing her talent, created new math courses specifically for her because she had already mastered the existing curriculum. Her path wasn't without obstacles. Despite excelling in academics, opportunities for African-American women in the early 20th century were limited. After graduating, Catherine began teaching math, one of the few career paths available to her at the time. Teaching was rewarding, but Catherine's ambitions reached further. She wanted to apply her skills in a field where her talents could make a broader impact. That chance finally came in 1953, when she joined the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics, NACA which would later evolve into NASA. At NASCA, Catherine initially worked in the Segregated Colored Computers Division, where teams of African-American women performed complex calculations by hand to support engineers. These women, dubbed human computers, were tasked with solving intricate equations that would guide aircraft and, eventually, spacecraft. Despite the segregation and discriminatory practices of the time, Catherine's extraordinary skill and analytical mind quickly set her apart. She asked questions, sought opportunities, and refused to be relegated to the background. Catherine's determination paid off. When the computers were reassigned to work on NASA's space program, her talent became impossible to ignore. Engineers began seeking her expertise directly, bypassing the rigid racial and gender barriers of the era. Her reputation as a mathematical prodigy grew as she tackled problems involving orbital mechanics, launch windows, and re-entry paths, calculations that were critical to the success of space missions. One of Catherine's earliest triumphs came in 1961 when she calculated the trajectory for Alan Shepard's Mercury mission, making him the first American to travel into space. This was no ordinary math problem. A single miscalculation could have sent Shepard's capsule off course, leaving him stranded in space or plunging into the ocean far from rescue crews. Catherine's meticulous work ensured that the mission was a success and helped establish the United States as a serious contender in the space race. In 1962, Catherine's contributions reached new heights during preparations for John Glenn's historic mission to become the first American to orbit the Earth. By this time, NASA had begun relying on electronic computers to perform calculations. However, Glenn famously insisted that Catherine personally verify the computer's results before he would agree to launch. If she says they're good, then I'm ready to go, he said. Catherine's confirmation of the calculations was instrumental in the mission's success, further cementing her indispensable role in NASA's operations. Catherine's work didn't stop there. In 1969, she played a critical role in calculating the trajectories for Apollo 11, the mission that successfully landed humans on the moon. Her work ensured that the spacecraft could travel to the moon and return safely to Earth a feat of engineering and mathematics that captivated the world. But her contributions extended beyond the Apollo program. Catherine also worked on the space shuttle program and Earth observation missions, showcasing her versatility and adaptability in an ever-evolving field. Over her 33-year career at NASA, Catherine co-authored 26 research reports, many of which addressed complex problems in orbital mechanics and flight dynamics. These publications not only advanced the field, but also served as foundational texts for future engineers and scientists. Catherine's work helped establish the mathematical principles that continue to guide space exploration today, from missions to Mars to satellite deployments. Despite her monumental achievements, Catherine Johnson's contributions went largely unrecognized for decades. The spotlight finally found her with the publication of Margot Lee Shetterly's book, Hidden Figures, and its subsequent film adaptation in 2016. The story highlighted Catherine and her colleagues, Mary Jackson and Dorothy Vaughn, who were instrumental in NASA's success during the space race. The film, starring Taraji P. Henson as Catherine, brought her brilliance, resilience, and determination to life, inspiring audiences worldwide. The story of Hidden Figures was more than just a celebration of Catherine's achievements. It was a revelation of the systemic barriers faced by women and minorities in STEM fields. Audiences were struck by the determination and courage Catherine displayed in a world that often underestimated her. The film ignited discussions about representation in science and engineering and inspired a new generation to pursue their passions regardless of societal constraints. In her later years, Catherine received numerous accolades that celebrated her legacy. In 2015, 
President Barack Obama awarded her the Presidential Medal of Freedom, one of the highest civilian honors in the United States. NASA also named the Katherine G. Johnson Computational Research Facility in her honor, ensuring that her name would be forever linked to the organization she helped propel into the future. But Katherine's legacy is about more than awards and honors. It's about the doors she opened for women and people of color in STEM fields. Her story serves as a beacon for young scientists and mathematicians, proving that brilliance knows no boundaries. Catherine's work not only changed the trajectory of space exploration, but also transformed the culture of NASA, paving the way for a more inclusive and diverse workforce. Her contributions laid the groundwork for modern space exploration, influencing missions to Mars, Jupiter, and beyond. The precision and reliability of her calculations remain a standard in the aerospace industry. The techniques she developed and perfected are still being adapted and used in cutting-edge technologies today. Whether it's charting paths for interplanetary missions or designing satellite systems, Catherine's legacy lives on in the work of countless scientists and engineers. Perhaps her greatest legacy lies in the inspiration she provides to aspiring scientists and mathematicians worldwide. Catherine's story has become a symbol of perseverance and excellence, teaching us that no matter how steep the challenges, talent and determination can prevail. She showed that success isn't just about individual brilliance, it's also about collaboration, resilience, and a commitment to pushing humanity forward. So the next time you marvel at a rocket launch or gaze up at the moon, remember Katherine Johnson, the mathematician who charted the path to the stars. Her story reminds us that with determination and talent, even the most distant dreams are within reach, proving that the sky is not the limit, but just the beginning. If you enjoyed this story, give it a like, leave a comment, and hit the bell so you don't miss what's coming next.